Learn Spanish. Today we're going to talk about the present subjunctive with recommendations and requests. Practice. Aprendiendo Español. Practicando el presente del subjuntivo usando recomendaciones y peticiones. Hola, en esta lección vamos a practicar la R en el acrónimo WIRDOS, recomendaciones y peticiones. In this video lesson, we're going to practice the subjunctive using recommendations and requests. Remember, when a person recommends, suggests, wants, or asks another person to do or not to do something, the subjunctive is used since whether that person will do what it is recommended is uncertain and possibly may not happen. In this case, the K separates the recommender from the recommendation. Let's try some sentences and choose the correct present subjunctive or indicative conjugation of the verb that is in the parentheses. So let's begin. Insisto, nosotros, dejar, de gritar inmediatamente. Insisto indicates that the action is a recommendation, so it is followed by the subjunctive. In this case, the subjunctive of dejar is dejemos. Let's continue. Te imploro que no me tu despedir. So of the two choices, A, despidas, and B, despides, which one did you choose? If you chose A, despidas, you did a great job. When asking something of someone, the thing being asked for, for example, that you do not fire me, is not taken as an objective fact, but as an event that may or may not happen. And therefore, the subjunctive is used. So the correct answer was despidas. Let's continue. Creo que me, parenthesis, ellos ir a despedir. A, vayan, or B, van. When making a declarative statement about what one believes or is going to occur or happen, like for example, they are going to fire me, the indicative is used, and in this case, van. Creo que me van a despedir. Me aconsejan que le responder inmediatamente. Out of the two possibilities, A, responde, and B, responda, which one did you use? Responda. Bien hecho. In this case, the subjunctive is used with giving advice. So, the form of the subjunctive is responda. Me aconsejan que le responda inmediatamente. Me prohíbes que yo... Salir con ella. A. Salga. B. Salgo. Which one? The correct choice was A. Salga. Muy bien. In this case, the subjunctive is used with orders. So A is the correct answer. Me prohíbes que salga con ella. Tomás e Inés hablar muy despacio. E. Hablan de hablen. If you chose hablan, bien hecho. Why? Because when you're making a declarative statement about an objective fact, and in this case is Tomás and Inés speak very slowly, we use the indicative mood. And in this case, hablan. Exijo que ustedes me lo of the verb decir. A. Dicen or B. Digan. If you chose B. Digan, well done. 
In this case, the subjunctive is used with orders, and in that case, is digan. Exijo que ustedes me lo digan. Yo ir a colocar una bolsa de hielo para aliviar el dolor. A. Voy or B. Vaya. If you chose A, voy, nice work, when making a declarative statement about what one is going to do, as in the case of I am going to put an ice pack on it, we use the indicative form. And in this case is voy a colocar una bolsa de hielo para aliviar el dolor. Os digo que, in between parentheses, valorar, La vida que tenéis. Your choices are A. Valoráis and B. Valoréis. The correct answer is Valoréis. Why? Because the subjunctive is used with suggestions. And in this case, the conjugation in the subjunctive of the verb Valorar es valoréis. Exijo que ustedes me escuchar. A. Escuchen. Or B. Escuchen. The correct answer is escuchen. Why? Because exijo que indicates that the action is a recommendation. So it is followed by the subjunctive. And in this case, es escuchen. Exijo que ustedes me escuchen. La profesora aconseja que nosotros traer nuestros libros. A. Traemos. B. Traigamos. If you picked B. Traigamos. Bien hecho. Why? Because the subjunctive is used with giving advice, and in this case, we use traigamos. La profesora aconseja que nosotros traigamos nuestros libros. Or simply, la profesora aconseja que traigamos nuestros libros. Te propongo que nosotros hacer un trato. A. Hagamos. B. Hacemos. If you answer hagamos, you got it correctly. Why? Because the subjunctive is used with suggestions. And in this case, we will say te propongo que hagamos un trato. Mi doctor recomienda que yo beber más agua. A. Beba. B. Bebo. If you answer beba, well done. Because in this occasion, recomienda que is a recommendation where the outcome is unknown. So, we use the subjunctive. Mi doctor recomienda que yo beba más agua. Or simply, you say, mi doctor recomienda que beba más agua. Propongo que ustedes pasar por el parque. A. Pasen. B. Pasan. Which one? A. Passing. Why? Because propongo que indicates that the action is a recommendation, so it is followed by the subjunctive. Propongo que ustedes pasen por el parque. Mandamos que nos, ellos, traer las bebidas. A. Traen. B. Traigan. If you pick traigan, well done. In this case, we use the subjunctive because we use it with orders. Mandamos que nos traigan las bebidas. ¿Por qué no dejas que la gente creer lo que quiera? A. Crea. B. Cree.
Nice work if you picked a crea, the subjunctive. Is used with suggestions. And in this case, the singular form of the subjunctive of creer is crea. ¿Por qué no dejas que la gente crea lo que quiera? Te ruego que te, and then the two form of quedar. Your choices are A, quedes, B, quedas. Quedes. Muy bien. Because ruego que indicates that the action is a recommendation. So we follow it with the subjunctive. And the subjunctive in this form of quedar is quedes. Te ruego que te quedes. Sugiero que tú leer este libro. A. Lees. B. Leas. In this case was leas, the correct answer. Why? Because sugiero que indicates that the action is a recommendation, so it's followed by the subjunctive. Muy bien, that's it for this video on practicing with the R in weirdos, recommendations and requests. Hopefully you found it helpful and let me know if you have any questions and comments about this video. Do not forget to practice your own sentences in the comments section below. And also do not forget to subscribe to my channel for updates on new Spanish video lessons. Gracias por ver mi video. Hasta el próximo video. Until the next video.